All right, Brewer Spring Training Day 9 has happened, and Jackson Churio will lead off with a double. Christian Yelich will put the Brewers on the board early, making it 1 0 Milwaukee. 1 0 is a ground ball left side. That's going to get through and into left field. Churio around third. He's headed for home. Here comes the throw, and it is not in time. Throw actually goes all the way back to the backstop, so Yelich chugging for. Right after that, Willie Adams will hit a two run home run, making it 3 0 Brewers. And Adamas launches one out to left. Going back is Guriel looking up. See you later. Willie Adamas, a two run shot. It's three to nothing, Brewers. And the Brewers all over Eduardo Rodriguez to start up this game. Will then, right after that, the rally would stop except for a Christian Royal single. The D backs would lead off with a pop up to third for the first out. Geraldo Perdomo would hit a double out to right. An RBI double by Gabby Moreno would make it 3-1 to one Brewers. Lourdes Gurriel would get an RBI double, then Pavin Smith would fly out to left. Top of the second, and Joey Weimer would start off with a walk. Then Jefferson Carroll would hit a single out to right. Then Jackson Shurio would ground out, then a Christian Yelich double play would end with the half inning. Bottom of the second, it would be a practical 1-2-3 except for a Jake McCarthy double. Top of the third, and Eduardo Rodriguez would have a practical 1 2 3 except for a Garrett Mitchell walk. Freddy Peralta would have a practical 1 2 3 except for a Gabriel Moreno home run. The 2 1. Swing, high fly ball, out into left field. Weimer going back onto the track at the wall, and that ball is gone. Moreno ties it up with his first of the spring, and we're all square at three. Connor Grammis would come in for Eduardo Rodriguez. Bryce Turing would reach on an error, then he'd be caught stealing. D.L. Hall would replace Freddie Peralta, then he'd have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Jake McCarthy walk. Bryce Jarvis would come in for Connor Grammis. Jackson Cheerio would get walked. The first two outs of the half inning would be a Christian Yelich ground out and a Willie Adamas strikeout. Reese Hoskins would get walked. The Brewers would have another rally, a Garrett Mitchell double, then a Christian Arroyo two RBI hit, making it 6-3 Milwaukee. Jose Castillo would come in for Bryce Jarvis. A balk would happen. Then Bryce Terang would get struck out. The Diamondbacks would go 1-2-3. A Joey Weimer single, then a Jefferson Carroll home run would make it 8-3 Milwaukee. Jackson Sherio would ground out, then Christian Yelich would triple. Willie Adamas would strike out, then Reese Hoskins would get walked. Tyler Black would replace Reese Hoskins, then Josh Green would replace Jose Castillo. Garrett Mitchell would hit an RBI single, then Christian Arroyo would strike out. Substitutions plus Abner Uribe for D.L. Hall. D.L. would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Pavin Smith walk. More substitutions. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. More switches plus Elvis Piguero for Abner Uribe. Piguero would go 1-2-3. Even more defensive replacements plus Dakota Chalmers for Josh Green. Dakota would have a 1-2-3 inning. Trevor McGill would come into the game. Kevin Newman would strike out, then Andres Chaparro would hit a home run. Wilder Patino would strike out. Diorazio would get walked, and then Brett Johnson would ground out. Chris Rodriguez would come in for Dakota Chalmers. Tyler Black would get walked, and then he would steal second base. Blake Perkins strike out, Vinny Capper double, Owen Miller RBI, then a Yoferi Rodriguez strikeout. J.B. Bukowskis would come in in the ninth. He'd have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Jansel Luis double. The Brewers win 10-4. The Brewers' perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Willie Adamas with his... 108 mile an hour home run. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in some more spring training videos.